Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video on my channel. This is another transfer roundup rumours. Just, yeah. Last time we talked about Woodrow signing and Bradshaw leaving. We also talked about Potts leaving. There's been rumours of other players going out, like Keith Moore going, George Monker, a bunch of other players rumoured to leave. But, um, currently at this moment in time, it's happened today, it's been rumoured all week, well, back end of the week, that George Monker has been set to be loaned to Luton Town, which, first of all, he's running out of contract to end the season, and so loaning them out, we're not gaining anything, they're just paying his wages, so at the end of the season, he'll go for nothing to them if they want to keep him, so we'll gain nothing for him, because he did refuse to sign another contract, but luckily we haven't loaned him out, I think, I think, we've officially sold him, if we have sold him, it's an undisclosed fee, so we sold him, so we've actually got some money. Instead of loaning him out and letting him go for free in summer, which would be a waste, so we've actually got some money. He is one of the highest earners at the club, so that just frees up some space to sign other players in. So yeah, George Munker's going to Luton. My thoughts, it's a big player lost. Obviously, the manager and that didn't like him, because they were speculating saying that he was too lazy for the club. He was the attack. He was an attacking midfielder. He could play out wide and he attack forward. Um, loads of fans saying he could never play a full ninety minutes without fading out of games, which were true. And his defensive support wasn't the best. Obviously, you could say he shouldn't have to come back and defend, but everyone's got to defend and help the team out. But he was just seen as lazy, so I presume then Daniel Stendhal and his staff didn't really like that. So he has gone to Luton. Stupidly to Luton, who are our rivals for the top two, which I don't get that. Why would you sell him to the top two? It's just going to give them a boost and help them. Because if he, if he starts for them and scores goals, then it's going to help them for push for second and could mess our promotion hopes up. But anyway, he's got an undisclosed fee, so we have got some cash for him. And like I said, he's the highest earner, so it has freed up some space for a player to come in. Signing-wise, we have signed our first player of the thing. The Bradshaw one and the Woodrow one were on loan with an option to buy, so we already knew about them. Potts and Monker have currently gone, and our first player to sign is um, a winger from Yeovil Town. I forgot his name. I'm going to quickly search it now. I'll find out. I've just forgot for some reason. Yeovil winger, right winger, um, coloured lad. I think it's Jordan Greed. Um, if I've got that wrong, I apologise, but I think that's his name, Jordan Green. He's from Yeovil. He's a tricky winger. He's really fast. He's meant to be rapid. Yeovil are just below halfway in League 2, so not the best team, but he's meant to be one of their standout players. And I think I think it's Jordan Green, yeah. We've signed him. Focus, camera, man, focus. Um, but yeah, we've signed him as our first player winger. I don't know if it says a replacement for Moncur for the bench or it's the actual replacement for Brad Potts on the wing. But yeah, we signed him a two and a half year deal, either two or two and a half year deal, possibly able to extend to three years with the option to extend to three years. I, like I said, I don't know if that is the is the replacement for Moncur on the bench or the actual replacement for the Potts on the right hand side. He's a gifted right wing player, but I've seen clips of him hitting it with his left. Cutting in on his left, using his left, and playing down the middle as well for Yeovil. So I'm not sure. In my opinion, I still think we need probably two players. We still need, obviously, a replacement to replace either Monker or Potts, whichever one that Jordan Green is for. So the other one. So we still need one of them replacing, and I still think we need a backup striker because, in my opinion, Victor Adamajo on the bench is not good enough. He still needs, he needs loaning out some experience in the lower leagues. But yeah, we, I still think we need a striker. So yeah, we have sold Monker for an undisclosed fee, if I'm correct. If my sources are correct. And we've signed the Yeovil Jordan Green winger. Yeah, we'll say young, but he's not that young. He's not like teenage young. He's 23 year old. So by the time his contract's run out, he's over that 25, 26, which we don't have in our club. We go for all 26 or 25 bolos. So yeah, they're the two signings. This is just a quick round up video. This will be out on the Saturday. Uh, there'll be another video on the next Tuesday. Obviously, I'm not doing a vlog today. Uh, there'll be another video on the Tuesday, which will be you'll find out. And then there'll be a preview on the Thursday and the vlog next Saturday against Rochdale. Sorry, I'm not vlogging against Wimbledon this week, so I apologise. But yeah, that's a roundup video. If you guys find any rumours, let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.